Hey, that's a blooper. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, welcome welcome to the edition, uh, another edition of the Shreveport Connection. I am Stevie Future, aka Steven. And I'm Tommy, aka, aka. Mm -hmm. And Tommy the Train or Triple right. T. Uh, we're here to talk about just regular what's been going on, on the internet. Uh, a lot of things have been happening with some of the wrestlers. Uh, watch the video on Nerdy Q. Thank you for posting that video of uh, Shawn Michaels and saying that he's not coming back. There's no possibility. He's still in cahoots with the WWE, but he's not returning to wrestling in the ring, period. And I still have the personal so, email that he sent me through MySpace. Yeah. His wife, he's good friends with his wife. Along with his personal MySpace. email address, I'm not going to give out to anybody. Yeah. Not even if he pays me a million dollars for it. He's not returning. Which, that's fine. I've accepted the fact he's not coming back, um, and that's okay. Uh, our truth uh, is in the hospital. There's been yep. reports on Twitter. That is true. Uh, he had the case of walking, walking pneumonia, pneumonia, and they had to send him to the hospital from a house mm -hmm. show. My thoughts and prayers go out to you, R-Truth. Yeah. Uh, I hope you get better soon, buddy. Good to see you. Um, I got another review. I like, uh, I want them to do something with Darren Young. I mean, you know, the guy's got... Yeah, he's talent. got the talent. He's got he the effect. He's, he's got the, the uh, charisma, too, and the talk and the mind. To, he, got, he just, I mean, he just got it. He's got yep. it. I mean, he might have lost to Cena, you know, when he first got exiled, but that was the start of his character. Yep. Uh, with a lot of the matches that he's done with William Regal and Superstars. He's done matches with Jack, uh, Zack Ryder. Yep. Recently, I mean, he did matches with Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, Kurt Hawkins, where he beat him. Um... <laughs> You know, guy's very creative with his moves set, and and for once on Superstars, when Jerry the King Lawler and that new guy Scott, whatever his name was, other announcer, I can't ever remember his name. Yeah, they actually call the match correctly. They actually say what the move is, and like Michael Cole, who wouldn't know what an arm drag from an arm bar is. <laughs> uh, wrestling is about when the excuse me when the uh, wrestlers are wrestling, the announcers should talk about the moves, what they're doing, because that's a really why I used to watch wrestling is to figure out what moves they were actually doing. Thank you to good old JR. When he came back, he was actually talking about the moves. He yeah. wasn't talking He's about He's topping a mud hole in his butt. You know, because uh, Michael Cole's a joke. Um, I mean, come on, bring back bring back Todd Pettengill. I mean, he was classic. At least he knew what the arm drag was. Exactly. Um, another superstar is they like to see that they get a push that really doesn't right now is Justin Gabriel. He kind of doesn't have really a development. Man, they started him out real good. He's one of my I mean, favorites. Yeah, and you know, he's in the Nexus, I understand. Even though he's a... But now he's just kind of like... Luchador style type. Well, he's he's a high flyer luchador, you know, yeah. whatever you want to call him. But the problem with his character is that he's a just a tag team guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not... They're not pushing him for singles because he's not the leader of the Nexus, which is Wade Barrett, who's got all the developmental parts of it and has got all the attention. Yeah. So his character developed. I still think that they're going to do the uh, Wade Barrett versus David Otoga. Yeah, for the... Loser leave Nexus. A loser is uh, exiled and then the, the, main, the new guy... Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, and that would completely take all the black guys out of the, out of the Nexus and make it look all white. Oh, that's such a great thing. Uh, they're not all out yet because Michael Tarver might be returning. Yeah, and then you know, think about uh, think about uh, Skip Sheffield. Sheffield you know. and he comes back from his injury. Well, that could be another another six uh, months. Well, well, the way I see it is that uh, you also got Titus O'Neil who was on next, yep. who was on NXT season two. He could be coming back anytime soon. You got Percy Watson. Yep. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah. Uh, he could be coming back too. He was good. He was a good wrestler too. I like his style. I mean, he might not have been the flashiest guy as far as you know talking and everything, but in the ring, he just got to compete. Um, I like to see them develop better character for Husky Harris, even though he's really just another part of the Nexus. Like none of these guys that are a part of the Nexus are really developing characters. Yeah. They're just members of the Nexus behind Wade Barrett. I mean, I wish it would just develop into a point to where. He gets exiled, yep. and they have a new leader that can develop a character. Now, don't get me wrong. David Otonga has developed his character. His character has been developed. Yep. But the problem is, nobody else has. Yep. Everybody's just... Well, Michael, Michael McGillicuddy, he's got a good one. Here's a set. Because he's got 
He's second generation. Yeah, so is Husky, but they yeah. no they have no character. They're a part of the Nexus. Yeah, that's it. That's that's basically their character. All about uh, the tag team. Mm -hmm. Justin Gabriel and Keith he, Slater. Yeah, they just threw them together. Oh, one of my favorite characters, he's finally a champion, is Santino. <laughs> you know, you got to love world. Santino's character. You know, you always want to watch to see what he's going to do next, what he's going to say <laughs> next, and how he's going to say it, because he can't say the words out. But I'm really ashamed of what they've done to him, you know. Yep. He's another he one could have been so much better as not a jokester of the WWE. But yep. I guess since he's getting paid so much money... He could care less. Yeah, care less, less. as long as you get the money. Yeah. And Vladimir Pay me the money, I'll do anything they, you want. They got, these guys are, are just the funniest pair. You know, <laughs> Kozlov is Mr. Serious and Santino's the jokester. And he put the two together. You're the Russian and, bear. Yeah, you know, I will crush you. And then you got, mmm, Santino, you know. Ah, yeah, it's just... Would I like a cup of tea? A cup of tea? Uh, you Seamus? You like the tea? tea? Oh, oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was funny. I mean, you can't not laugh at that. And they're finally giving John Morrison the push he deserves. Yep. I feel I'm like this is... Again, just, they, did that, they, this is, they did this when they this had the was done, ECW title. This was done correctly this time. Big push then. But this was done correctly. I mean, John Morrison, the guy that you know, gave Matt Hardy the push who didn't even NCAA win tough time. enough. Okay, the guy never made it past the semi. The yeah, two, like Daniel the Pewter when he won tough enough. What they do? He left WWE. No contract. Nothing. Um, because he couldn't develop a character. Because he's too martial artist. Oh, give me a break. Um, <laughs> they can learn more than to. Daniel Bryan any day of the week. But Daniel Bryan is the shit. That would have been a great match. No. Daniel Bryan versus Daniel Peter. What about Daniel Bryan versus... Uh, Caval. Caval. That. That's coming up. That's they've coming wrestled. Up. Guys, they have wrestled together. Yep. In FCW. If you check it out on YouTube. Uh, no, that's gonna be, that would be a great match between Daniel Bryan and Caval. I yep. would love to see it's that. Already it's already set up. It's set up? Yep. Well, how about this match? Daniel Bryan, Caval, and Rey Mysterio. Three Another small good guys. match. Three small guys, three luchador yep. styles, light high heavy, flyers. Light heavyweight champions. You know, going you at go it. Go to TNA, X Division title. No, those guys aren't X Division material. Those are world heavyweight <laughs> well, champions. That's what the X Division is. Those are light heavyweights. But these guys aren't. These guys compete <laughs> with the big guys. Yeah. They've proved, Ray has proven that. Yeah. Throw Evan Bourne with a mix. Uh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Fatal four way. Those, guys, those four right there would make for a great creative match. Well, even a tag team match. Throw any four, any other four. Yeah, you could throw me in there. It'd be great. You know, I just <laughs> gain about 20 pounds. It'd be fine. You know? Um, That'd be six foot nine. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, six foot nine. Um, six foot nine. And our careers, our careers are kind of like at a standpoint right now. Uh, a lot yeah. of things are going on. Maybe 200 pounds. Um, you know, BWEs. We're, we're, we're still with you guys. Stephen Hardy, if you're out there, you know we're still we're still coming. We're still trying to make our men's to y'all. It's just we've been busy with our own lives. It happens that way. Yep. Shit happens. You gotta go on. And work comes first. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And so do so do my other job, which is um, my relationship. <laughs> yeah. And his too. <laughs> I'm married. So yeah. Far. And I got a job. I'm not throwing that in a mix. So I've got, actually technically got, I got two jobs. I got, I'm married. That's a job. Got a kid. That's another job. Yeah. And his real and job. And my part-time work. Yeah. So he's got three jobs. Yeah. Part-time, I'm getting maybe 20-ish hours a week mm -hmm. on the average. I'm finally getting the hours I deserve. He should have already gotten it already. Yeah. But I'm half his age, too, so we can just leave that alone. Yeah. Um, and somebody commented uh, the other day that, yeah, I could be a manager. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At a certain store. Ah. <laughs> That's not Walmart. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Walmart. Uh, blows. On Mansfield Road, Shreveport, Louisiana. Walmart. Who's up? Walmart anywhere blows. Okay. Walmart is so pathetic towards their associates. It's unreal. Yeah. I've had yeah. every friend of mine that's ever discrimination. Worked with them. No, no. I've had every friend of mine, no matter what their <laughs> color is, has been terminated for some stupid reason. Yeah, I threatened. And I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about stealing. Act. I'm not talking about Walmart. anything. I'm talking about some bogus that they couldn't even write Things down the paperwork. Things they can paper find him. Things they can, they, 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 they couldn't even write down the reason why they fired this person. Exactly. They couldn't figure out the reason. They couldn't put it in the computer. 
because they couldn't figure out the real reason because it was just so much crap. Exactly. Anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah, back, back to wrestling. Oh, we had to get a little bit of that out. Um, <laughs> okay, this is review... Wrestling Pro and not Wrestling with Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we should be putting in some more matches on VW Universe. Um, we just haven't had the time to go out there. Uh, we will be soon. Um, probably in January. I had a chance to go out there today, but nobody called me. Hey, it happens, Tommy. <laughs> they, 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 said for, they forget to call you. It, 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 it happened. It yeah, switched. It used, to be, it used to be they'd always call him and never call me. Yeah. Now it's getting, to a, point. Him, so now hey, it's getting to a point where they showed up at my house and they've, now they're calling me and they're not calling him at all. So it's yeah, so like, it's not getting a phone number. Yeah, uh, so let's walk around. And like, how is this man going to get there? Without a car. Without a car. You came out and tried hey. to come out here, but Daddy said no. Yeah, I tried to. I was going to be the next <laughs> BW champion. I'm not mad, Stephen Hardy, that this piece of joke, Punisher, is champion. I don't care. <laughs> if I was really that worried about it, I told you. <laughs> face to face. There you go. Hey, Stephen Hardy, didn't I beat Punisher at the, at the anniversary, anniversary show? show? And I won mine, too. I knocked uh, out Tony. Shouldn't that make me number one contender? <laughs> Not if I hit you with the chair first. Uh, make a triple threat, and I'll pin both of you. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll get you both up in my finisher. Uh, that's what he always says, but nobody wants to take <laughs> Yeah, nobody wants to take my bump. Except me. I'll take him. I don't care. Get my ass kicked. Yeah, sure. I'll get if my you ass don't know what it is, military press into the RKO. Yeah, that's right. That's just one of them. We got the military press into the diamond cutter. Um... We will be back in a moment. Uh, just we got some more stuff to talk about. And, All right. Uh, peace out. Till, till the next episode.